Okay, you guys, so I use, well, for the last year, I've been doing these as a podcast, but decided to do it as a video, so we'll see how this goes. Um, I will be looking at the screen behind the camera for most of the video, um, so I had to turn all of these and put them into our spreadsheet to see our numbers, but I'm super excited. January 2023 was awesome for sales on all three platforms. I was quite pleasantly surprised. So let's hop to it. <clears throat> My name is Caitlin. I am the owner of Beauty's Beats and Closet. Um, every month, I'm going to try. Um, for the last year I did it, so we'll just see. <laughs> But my plan is to, at the beginning of every month, do a reseller, you know, month recap or numbers review or whatever you want to call it, where we go over all of our, um, our gross sales, the number of items sold, ASPs, STRs, if you guys know what those are. If not, I'll tell you what they are in a minute. Um, and then our fee breakdowns and all the things and our goals and all that. So for... The month of January to kick off the year of 2023, our gross sales for Poshmark we saw on three platforms. So Poshmark was $2,345, eBay was $2,246.85, and Mercari was $418. For a grand gross total of $5,009.85. What? Okay, so that's exciting. Um, I would love to hit 5000 or more every single month. <sighs> yeah, so I'm really gra grad. I'm really glad um, with that. Really happy. Oh my goodness, what in the world? I'm really happy with that gross sales amount. Um, especially considering I went a little crazy on sourcing online and I paid up for a lot of items that I still haven't gotten listed. Um, so that covered my booty on that. And I probably shouldn't have done as much, but I found so many fantastic items and could not pass them up. So, okay, on Poshmark we sold 61 items, eBay we sold 38 items, and Mercari we sold 9 so on Mercari, um, on a normal month, our, well, I guess now our average is about $300 on Mercari. Um, $300 more than I would have made if I didn't list on there. So we're going to continue to list on Mercari because it's just one click of the button with Vindu, our cross-listing um, platform that we use. And yeah, we're just going to keep trucking with these three platforms. Okay, so our ASP or our average sell price for Poshmark was $38.44, eBay was $59.12, and Mercari was $46.44 for a total, uh, you know, ASP average sell price of $46.38 for all 108 items that sold for the month. I forgot to say that. So across all three platforms, a total of 108 items sold. I'm hoping that this is um, the new trend and that it will be an upward trend for this year because last year it was a downward trend <laughs> with all the changes that Poshmark did and eBay did. And yeah, it was just after the first like two or three months of the year. Um, still fantastic. Still got our house paid off with the, um, you know, the extra that was coming in from this uh, since we didn't need a second income to do that. But I feel like I'm hearing somebody coming in the office. So just a second. All right. Anyway, so, um, yeah. So hoping for an upward trend. Sorry. Have to uh, get my mind back on this. My husband likes to sneak up on me whenever he gets home from work, so I was hoping that's not what he was going to do and give me a heart attack. <laughs> okay, um, our STR or our sell-through rate um, this month was, well, last month in January was fantastic. We listed 174 items and then sold 108, so our STR was 62%. That is huge. 
that is what I am looking for. If not, you know, a hundred percent, but whatever. Um, I would love to be selling as many as I'm listing, but not there yet. Um, but that STR is way up from what it was uh, over the last few months. So we're really happy with that as well. Okay, here we go. Here's the fees now, you guys. Because we, believe it or not, don't get to bring home that gross amount. Um, we still have all of the things that we have to pay out that make our business run. Like inventory and clients and um, platforms, fees and shipping and all the things. So, for the fee breakdowns for the different platforms... Poshmark, the fees were $469, eBay fees were $518.58, Mercari fees were $57.93, gotta love Mercari fees. They make me feel good, even though they have the least amount of sales, but you know, it is what it is. Okay, so our total fee platform fees were $1,045.51. That's a big chunk of the pie. That's a fifth of the pie, you guys. Okay, then for our shipping fees, or our shipping, um, on Poshmark, it was $17.20 because I offer, I send out offers and offer the $1.72 off um, as the shipping discount because you have to, as of right now, you have to offer a shipping discount when you send offers. But anyway, um, so the people who accepted offers, it cost me $17.20. Not bad. On eBay, since we uh, pay for shipping labels, we have the customers pay, but then we have to, you know, still pay for the shipping labels. Anyways, um, so eBay shipping was $243.84. Mercari shipping was $27.48. And then for inventory shipping was $47.40. Um, so on Mercari, Anything over a pound, we give free shipping and we ship on our own because we get cheaper rates than Mercari does. And so we just put the cost of shipping into the item um, price. So that covers our tushy there. Okay, so our total for shipping was $335.92. There's another chunk, you guys. <laughs> okay, so... Our biggest chunks that come out are for inventory this month. So for our consignment clients, because yes, we can sign for people. We have five clients currently, and so the payout for all of them together was $621.36. Um, for inventory outside of consignment clients, this is Beauty's Beastly Closets, actual inventory that we own. Um, we paid $1,019.38. I don't know why I'm tapping my chest. Sorry. Um, yeah, so we paid over 1000 this month. Which, yeah. Okay, anyway. <clears throat> For a total of $1,640.74 for consignment client inventory and regular inventory. Okay, last but not least, we paid... Forty-one ninety-eight for Vendu, which is our cross-listing service. Couldn't do it without it. As you know, with the amount of time that I have. Um, and then twenty-five dollars for our Posher VA, which does all the meticulous little things that Poshmark likes us to do, because it's a social app. Why I don't know. But that's what they sell themselves as. And um, since I like to sell on the platform, we have Posture VA. And yes, I know that we could get it free from Flip. But again, I really like Posture VA. It has not failed me yet. <laughs> it's been awesome. Okay. Um, oh, for a grand total up for those two monthly subscriptions, um, it was a total of $66.98. Are we ready for the grand totals? So, our total red, or outgoing, was $3,089.15, which brings us to a total net, or bring home, whatever you want to call it, um, of $1,920.70. So, for a mama who only worked 
22 days, three hours on average a day, which brings us to 66 hours worked for the entire month. That's it. Um, my gross hourly was $75.90. I'm not making that anywhere else, even with my degree, my bachelor's degree. I'm not making that in Oklahoma because our cost of living is lower than most other states. That means our hourly is generally lower. So, um, to be free with my babies and homeschool and be here for my hubby and keep my house clean and still have energy for all the things and still make $75 an hour, I would not trade this for the world. Not to mention my husband invests in me and we have an office in our house now, so. Woo. Okay. Now, to wrap it up with my goals for February, my birthday month, you guys. I turned dirty 30 last year, so now I'm moving on up in my 30s. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, four babies in. Ten, we'll be celebrating 10 years of marriage this year. I'm moving past 30. It's life is good, you guys. Okay. Anyways, so February goals. Here we go. My goals are to delist and relist the last two months worth or inventory worth. Oh my goodness. Let's try this again, you guys. To delist and relist the last two months of inventory from my consignment clients. There we go. Okay. Um, because we have the thinking that just because something has not sold does not mean it is not a good item. It just has not been seen by the right person. So we delist and relist to get it in front of the right people. It's fresh. We need new eyes. So that is one goal. The second is to get my blessings pile put into drafts. So I did a lot of sourcing in January, like I said, and I have it hanging on a rack and then in another bin. So I need to go through all of that, but I've been working on consignment clients this month and, um, I'm, I may have a lull a couple weeks before my next consignment client stuff comes in. Um, so I should have time to get through that and just have my drafts ready with our inventory, not consignment clients. So that's my goal is to get all of it put into drafts on Vindu. So it's ready to list when I'm ready to list. Okay. And then the, uh, another goal is to start going through our oldest inventory that's already listed and updating those listings. Make sure there's no errors. Make sure I still have the inventory, um, that it's not just been overlooked, but just go through. And I do this about once a year where I really verify that everything's there so we don't have any mishaps. Okay. Another thing is to improve time management, both with the family and business to really separate that time. Like, okay, I have three hours, one in the morning, two in the afternoon. After that, you know, business phones off until the kids are in bed, um, that I can answer questions if I need to. But otherwise I do all my shipping in the morning for that hour that I, when I first get up and <clears throat> in the afternoon during quiet time, I do all the other things. So. I need to improve by putting down the phone. Put the phone down. Spend some time, some quality time. My kids need to see that I'm engaged fully. I'm intentional with my time. Okay. Last but not least is to be content with the current business model because after all, it is working as I've shown you in our numbers. Um, I had looked into another option this past month and although it could work as a pivot point, um, it wasn't necessary. I'm not going to say what it was because it was just a waste of my time because I don't have time to add this to it. If I had an employee, then that could be their job completely. But until I have an employee, the option that I was looking at last month is not viable and it was a waste of the time that I could have been spending getting my blessings pile listed. So there's that. Okay. Thanks for tuning in. 
I hope that helped you. If you have questions or you like content like this, please subscribe or share or leave us a comment or reach out to us on Instagram at beautiesbeastlycloset.com. You can find everything else about us on our website at beautiesbeastlycloset.com. Did I just say .com for Instagram? I'm not sure if I did or not, but if I did, my apologies. It's Instagram, not .com, but our website is .com. Is that confusing enough? Cool. Okay. I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.